got bit by a black widow. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's the Beast and Bunch. Say what's up, Ozzy. Can you say hi? That was nice. <laughs> you say hi, Stella? We are headed to the beach right now. We're finally getting out of the house. The last few days have been crazy work days, so we haven't been able to get to the beach, so we're like prioritizing that today. We're gonna go to the beach and then come back. I'm gonna do my hair and get super cute for a photo, and Tanner's gonna also get his hair done. We're thinking of bleaching it, so. Oh, and you wanna get your hair done? Yeah. What do you wanna do to your hair? Like it. So you're gonna have your hair look like that? That'll be pretty. Tanner's gonna decide what he wants to do his hair when we get to the hairstylist. I've been feeling like I want to do a creative photo shoot by myself because I feel like after becoming a mom and having two kids and that kind of becoming our content all the time is just like all of us together. Sometimes I miss getting creative and doing like styled shoots because that's something that I really love to do. So I thought today would be really fun to go to the beach as a family, come back, get ready, and then have Tanner take some solo photos of me. Whoa. Whoa, when does that happen? Never, so we're gonna do that. Right now, let's go to the beach. We got one little Ozzy pushing the wagon, two little baby dolls in there, a Stella and a Ozzy baby doll, and Daddy's pulling the front. Good work, team. <laughs> If you want to be a cool mom, do a front flip into the water. Yeah. Go say, do a flip, mom. Huh? <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> This huge bag of trash. Let's stuff that in the shorts for later. Put it right here under this stick, mixed with some other stuff that we found. That pile right 
there, everybody that lives over here will kind of walk the beach. It's like mostly a couple people in particular, but they'll walk the beach all the time and just pick up all the trash, put it right there in that pile. And then once a week, somebody will come pick up this huge pile of trash. Not a perfect system, but it's awesome to see everybody over here helping out. Okay, I have showered. I put both the girls down and Tanner I think is pretty, is grabbing something. I honestly, sometimes he leaves and either I have like the worst memory ever or like he doesn't tell me where he's going so then I just know that he's like <laughs> gonna be gone for a few minutes. He's probably getting, oh, I know what he's getting. I just have ADHD and he's getting some food. So I thought I would start getting ready so that we can be ready to go take some pictures tonight. We had such a fun time at the beach and then Ozzy and I were showering off and she was doing her own soap and she got some in her eye and then like rubbed the whole thing of soap in her eye and it got like so stingy and she like wouldn't open her eye so it wouldn't blink out it was really sad but she's feeling much better and now she's down for a nap she's had a pbj it's her favorite thing right now yeah so i'm gonna get ready all right so i'm gonna put some product on my scalp because i'm trying to keep my healthy hair and it starts with the scalp and this product has actually been helping me a lot it's called divi i mentioned it in my last youtube video i've been using it every day it helps nourish your hair follicles so that they stay nice and healthy and your hair doesn't thin. It helps with the buildup like from other products. So if you use dry shampoo or anything like that, it like detoxifies your hair follicles so that it keeps your scalp nice and clean. So you have healthy hair. So I've really liked it so far. And the best part is that you use this and it's a water-based formula so that it doesn't leave your hair greasy or oily, which is really nice. So I just massage that in and it actually feels so good. It's fragrance-free and everything, so it's safe to use on your skin. It has all clean ingredients, so I don't feel scared putting it on my head. It's safe to use, breastfeeding, pregnant, all that stuff, so I've really liked it. I have definitely had some hair thinning since my postpartum hair loss is coming in. <laughs> I wanted to start using this so that I could start getting a healthy scalp to help all my hair follicles be healthy again. I am gonna do a little blowout using my little, it's like one of these brushes that, you know, curls, blow dries, whatever. See how it goes. I haven't used this on my short hair yet, so I'm really hoping that it gives the same effect as the Dyson Era. We're gonna try and get that like same blowout look, and then I'm gonna do my makeup really quick, but I can't really talk while this is on because it's pretty loud, so I'll just kind of show you how I do it, and I've only used it once ever, so we'll see how it goes. I never do my hair in Hawaii because my hair does not hold anything. There's a freaking bug on my floor, which is so classic. Ew, 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 I smashed it, it's all over. Gross, okay. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> have volume that's for sure okay I've got to say I just went and sprayed a little bit of hairspray in it it has so much volume Tanner look at my hair oh that looks really really cute I really like how it turned out What's my hair looks so thick I just used this little brush thing I love it okay let's do my makeup I don't think I've ever told you guys about the story or the time that I got bit by a black widow it was quite the experience if you've ever been bit it is so freaking painful. I'll just tell you the story. So basically what happened was we had just moved into a new house. It was in a new development. So before all these new houses went up, it was just fields, like 
old fields where I grew up. And so when we moved in, the owner had brought in some bricks from outside and put it in an unfinished room in the basement. That's where we think the Black Widow came from. So I'm having a sleepover. This is like one of the first couple weeks that we had been living in this house. I'm having a sleepover with my cousins. So we're downstairs watching movies, having a blast. I'm in the middle of my two cousins. So it goes my cousin, me, and my other cousin. And we're all just like on the floor, spread out, whatever. But I'm in the middle. I wake up middle of the night. I think a sumo wrestler jumped on me. So I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure my cousin just kicked the H out of me, like right in my hip. I just felt it like right in my side. And I was like, oh wow, she must have like kicked me in her sleep like as hard as she could. But I was just laying there like, oh, I gotta go back to sleep. It's like middle of the night. So I'm trying to go back to sleep and it is throbbing. Like I'm telling, it was like one of the worst pains ever. So I'm like, gosh, this isn't going away. And I start to freak out because I've been up for an hour now. And I'm like, how come this pain isn't subsiding? It's like on my hip and then kind of like down this way. So I go upstairs, I tell them, I think I'm in, I'm in sixth grade at this point, so I'm pretty young. I go up and I tell my mom, so my side is hurting really bad and I can't go back to sleep. And she's like, here, come lay in my bed. Maybe it's just like a stomach ache, whatever. And I'm like laying there like, no mom, my side hurts so bad. It's getting progressively worse as it goes. So I'm like, mom, it's hurting so bad. So my mom's like, okay, she's thinking it's my appendix, that my appendix is bursting. She's like, okay, it's the right side da, da, da. so I'm like okay she takes me to the hospital my mom is mind you five two five three I'm five almost five eight and then sixth grade I was probably around five five so I'm a lot taller than her and she's just this little cute mom and she has to straight up by the time we get to the hospital I can't even I'm not kidding you I can't even walk the pain is so bad. I have no idea what's going on with me, but it's, I'm in so much pain. My mom has to literally carry me out of the car. She's cradling me like this. She could barely hold me. I'm like this big sixth grader and she's just this little mom and she's like trying to get me into the front doors and this nice man sees my mom <laughs> struggling to get me inside and offers to carry me inside. So he carries me in and the ER finally sees me after four hours of sitting in there in agony and pain. They come in and look and I showed them, I like showed them where it hurt on my side and my hip and they basically pushed on it, which killed so bad, said, you know what? It was a bug bite, that's all it is and sent me home. And I was like, I don't think I would be here sitting four hours in the ER in the middle of the night if it was just a little bug bite that wasn't poisonous. They didn't even like look at it other than that. They just said, oh yeah, you're good to go home. Just a little bug bite and kept touching it. And I'm in so much pain. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So my mom takes me home. Then after that, <laughs> This is crazy. So my mom takes me home. The next day I can't eat. Like I'm, I can't walk. The pain is so bad and it's all over. This time it's going, it's like shooting down my legs. It's in my feet. My mom's been like rubbing my feet all night trying to help me sleep. I can't sleep. Everything is making me nauseous. Like I can't even look at food. We went to my favorite burger joint with my cousins and I couldn't even eat my food. I just laid on the bench while everyone ate. I was in so much pain and my mom goes, oh, that's it. I'm taking you back to the hospital. Like there has to be something What's wrong with you? I go back in, they tell me, no, nothing else. It's just a little bug bite, you're fine. Send me back home. So they tell me, <laughs> the second time I go in to the hospital, I can't even walk. They're telling me, it's just a little bug bite. It'll, it'll, it'll subside. So I'm like, okay. Okay, so I'm so sick. My mom is like, I don't know what to do here. The hospital is just sending us home. I'm gonna call the home teachers, which are a couple of elders in the ward. So it's a couple of men in the ward that help us out if we ever need anything or come and teach us or give us blessings. So my mom calls the home teachers and is like, hey, like we need your help. Lauren is so sick, she can't eat, she can't sleep, she can't walk, she's in so much pain. The doctors are just saying she got a bug bite, but this just seems really intense and one of my home teachers goes well i'm a spider specialist and i know a lot about this stuff what are her symptoms and i was like are you kidding me so she lists off all my symptoms and is like yeah so she can't walk all the stuff you know my home teacher goes well it sounds just like a black widow those are the symptoms that a black widow would give you if you got a black widow bite which is insane and so scary because i'm just this little sixth grader and a little poisonous black widow bit me twice. So the home teacher is like, let me come over. I'll come take a look at her. Takes a look and is like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a black widow. Have you gone down and checked her sheets? Like her blankets downstairs that she slept with. And they were like, no. So my brother goes downstairs and he's like, all you can hear downstairs is like a blanket going, whoosh, 
and him going, ah! And he said that the Black Widow just flew out of the sheets, that I had killed it, but it went flying out of the blanket when he did the little thing. So he comes upstairs and was like, yep, it's definitely a Black Widow. He brought the like dead Black Widow upstairs and it was so scary. I was like relieved to know like what it was, but at the same time I was like, there's poison in me. Like I was so scared, it's just a little sixth grader. I, at this point, am like super done going back to the hospital. I like was so mad that they didn't tell me or like figure out what it was that it was like this random guy who like helped me figure out what had actually bit me. And so my dad had just had surgery and he had extra like, I don't remember what it was, but he gave me some pill that was like a, just a quarter of it and it helped me. So I finally, after one week of this pain, going through pain from this Black Widow and not knowing what it was, I slept for like four hours straight and I woke up so happy. I felt so much better. I couldn't believe it. What was crazy was this was all in my sixth grade year. I had up until my sixth grade, I had never broken a bone. I had never gone through anything kind of crazy like that. And that year I broke my foot. The day after I got the cast on my foot, broke my arm, got bit by a black widow. I got shingles. <laughs> I got mono. Anyway, I got all these crazy, crazy things right after I got bit by the Black Widow because it ran down my immune system. So it was so gnarly because I immediately got super bad allergies right after. And ever since then, I've had to take a Zyrtec every single day of my life or else I die of like allergies. And my allergen doctor was like, um, so basically you're not really allergic to a single thing. Your body just thinks you're allergic and is sending off these symptoms to try and fight off something that it thinks you're allergic to. So basically I'm allergic to myself and I just have to take a Zyrtec every day, which is funny. Also annoying as frick. Anyway, and then I got mono and I hadn't even kissed a boy at this point. I'm like, I'm getting mono and it's freaking embarrassing and I haven't ever even kissed a boy yet. And then I got shingles, which is like an old person disease where you get these freaking things on your back or wherever and they're so painful. It feels like you're getting stabbed and it's terrible and so itchy. And I was a sixth grader and I'm going and they're like, it's shingles, that's so crazy. A person of your age doesn't really get that. Anyway, moral of the story, don't bring old bricks into a new house and always check your blankets before going to sleep and get your house frickin' bug sprayed every shaking day you can because that was not fun. <laughs> Okay, I've done all my makeup. I think I'm ready. Now I just have to get dressed. Okay, so here's the happenings. The sunset goes down at 634, currently 632. <laughs> and we haven't found a freaking spot yet. We went to the first place that I had in mind and the spots, like the car parking spots were all taken because it is sunset time. So it's ideal to actually watch the sunset. Making it a little bit difficult. Trifficult, that's a um, blue reference. That's a blue reference. We only got two minutes, forget, forget. <laughs> We're trying to find another spot. I don't know what's gonna happen. Know, we'll man. see, we'll see. The sunset is slipping right through our fingertips. 6.35, gosh dang it. Would it be cool to park in front of a surf entrance? A beach access? Uh, I don't know, yeah. I don't know. You know when sometimes the sun goes down and it gets prettier? Okay, well, what the do you The sun went to... down and it didn't get prettier. Wait. Tanner, who did you Here. just see? I just saw Rob Machado. I've never seen him in real life. Who is He's that like to people who don't know? My One of my idols, surf idols. He's uh, Rob Machado. Look him up. He just rode his bike right past us and Tanner goes, <gasps> and just like smiles <laughs> and gave him a shaka because he was so excited to see him. That was awesome. All right, well. You win some, you freaking lose some. You win some, you freaking lose some. I mostly was the one that lost some. Yeah. Some time. Is she getting you? <laughs> All right, girls. Tell us what happened tonight, everybody. So I got all ready to take a creative photo. I had the idea in my mind. We got to the place I had envisioned and there was too many cars, we couldn't do it there. So then we kept driving, missed the sunset. It was too dark. We got to another place that was like fine, but didn't get a shot, unfortunately. Here we are. And Ozzy, what did you say you wanna do? Did you say you wanna party? Okay. For it's your, your birthday, you're holding Stella. <laughs> That's gonna tell me that my birthday. She 
is gonna come to your birthday. She's gonna love your birthday. Yeah, and eat cake with her. Yeah. What do you like cake? She does. I don't think she's ever had cake before. She's really excited for her party. party. We're planning on a horse party, Ozzy. Do you want a horse party or a princess party? Horses party? See, what, what about princesses riding horses? Yeah. <laughs> okay, resume tomorrow. Tomorrow we have CrossFit Open. This will, this will be our third year doing it. It's really fun, everybody gets really excited. So we're doing that in the morning and then after, maybe before the sun goes down by like a few hours. Yeah. Yeah, we could totally try to get that shot. Totally. Yeah. Okay, love you guys. See you in the morning. Bye. He's saying bye. Oh, bye, Stella. He's saying bye. bye. <laughs> what you're about to see is the CrossFit Open workout. Tanner didn't film me because when I was going, right. he was being a judge for Derek. She set up a camera. That so was that was pretty mucked up. But she did so good. I was really proud of myself. Tanner did really freaking amazing. So we'll put some clips of that in here. <laughs> that we just went up to the beach and Stella had her first time ever swimming in the ocean. So Stella and I are up here and Tanner just took Ozzy swimming in the ocean with Derek and Jack. First time in the ocean. Still his first time. Go get him, Oz.
So that was a fun weekend. It didn't go as planned, but it ended up being really fun. You got the what? You're gonna go to Costco. Go to Costco and Walmart. <laughs> Ozzy's really excited to go to Costco and Walmart with her mom, mm -hmm. who's taking her to Costco and Walmart because Dad always takes her to Costco That's and right. Walmart. That's right. So anyway, we had a really fun weekend. Tanner didn't have time to bleach his hair, but that's where I'm headed to go we'll get some tonight. today. I'm gonna go to Walmart and grab some bleach for his head, and then I'm just gonna do it myself. Don't tell anybody who's a hairstylist. We're getting the Walmart kind. Mm -hmm. Oops. Oops, it worked last time. All right. Oh, wrap it up, wrap it up, me? yep. Thank you guys so much for watching the vid. That was fun. I always like when they're over a couple days, yeah. a little more adventure. Please subscribe if you haven't. It just helps us out so much. Like the video, comment on the video. I love Don't reading the comments. Don't forget your post notifications. Anyways, we re really do love you guys and thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you next time. Bye. See ya. I don't know if it's the wind or what, but there's so much trash in the ocean, like a mess. A full instant refried beans bag. What? <laughs> I think it's full of sand and not beans. But I don't know. Oh, why are you smelling it? I think it's sand. Oh, yeah. <laughs>